Thank you so much for staying tuned. We've been experiencing some technical difficulties. We do appreciate you standing by for this morning's live program. Again, we are live on NTN with this morning's update, bringing you the news, the developments of the government of St. Lucia. And so far, we've been getting word from the uh, cabinet, the Operations Command Center, in response to COVID-19, uh, the opening of high-risk sectors. We are, op we are entering phase five of our COVID-19 response here on island. A special good morning to you. If you're just joining us, for those of you watching on air and online, our residents here in St. Lucia, uh, viewers in the diaspora, St. Lucians and well-wishers as well. Good morning to you. Uh, the curfew as of 10th July will be lifted and we are still under a state of emergency. However, the curfew will be lifted as we enter into uh, phase five of this continued transition into the new normal here in St. Lucia as we continue to uh, coexist with COVID-19. My name is Jesse Leonce. As usual, I'm joined in studio by my colleague Carlton Cyril, uh, bringing you the latest updates. Morning, Carlton. How was the day off yesterday? Very well, just a little too short. Merci tellement. Et bonjour cette ici encore à nous rappeler apologie et nous tenir un petit difficulté ici à où j'ai sa vie pour agir puis équipement ça qu'il fait. Encore nous quoi dire bonjour bah nous nous ici à centre commande euh, information qu'on la coutume nous quoi bah information développement qu'on est ni pour faire et puis centre ici. À part mes développements au cas ici bah vini les dix j'ai dit les dix pays à qui commencer ouais mon permettez pour entrer à part mes autres bagages nous quoi bah au détail ça et nous quoi prendre opportunité à vous dire et bonjour et merci pour tout qui qu'a suivi et qu'a coûté nous à sur Facebook à sur radio nous quoi dit toujours un plaisir Dion dit un lot et toujours un plaisir pour vous qu'à suivre avec ton information nous ni pour baou ici à commenter et te dit avant nous ni gais c'est nous mais nai espé jessi fait ça et qu'a annoncé et nous qu'a ni nous qu'a parlé et ben c'est mon nous ni en studio bon matin encore où était en écoute qu'on nous continue baou développement et information ici à en cette camade là Two special guests at that from right. the National Conservation Authority. We will get to them in just a moment, but in the meantime, we take a look back at last night when we got the update to the nation on the way forward COVID-19 wise. Uh, we go to the first clip of the Honorable Prime Minister speaking on the lifting of the curfew. The curfew has been dropped, um, but also making mention of other measures and permissions that have been uh, allowed uh, by cabinet after getting an update, uh, a slideshow, I, I, I believe, uh, from the Operations Command Center of where we're at in terms of our response to COVID-19. The most recent uh decisions that a cabinet has made one is the reopening of cinemas with um, proper protocol so the CMO and her team have assured me that they have met with um, the cinema operator and the proper protocols now have been approved uh, and that is going to recommence operations um, everything that I'm going to be speaking about right now would be effective as of July 10th um, 2020 um, the second thing is that the reopening of early childhood development centers with protocols um, has been approved. The third is very exciting for the sports persons of our, of our country, the allowing of tournaments, um, sporting events, and contact sports with protocols for spectators um, attending. There will be protocols for spectators for these sporting events. I believe the total a number of persons uh, being able to attend uh, the activities, the sporting activities, will be a maximum of 200 persons. And they will have to observe social, physical distancing, uh, regardless of the facility size. So whether it be the Darren Sammy Cricket Grounds or a, a multi-purpose court in your community um, that they're having a, a sporting activity, it will be a maximum of 200 persons per event. Uh, the Prime Minister did uh, make mention of uh, the United Kingdom where the Premier League has started and there have been similar protocols that have been put in place uh, so that persons at this point in time can enjoy uh, the uh, the, the sporting activities. You heard there of the reopening of the cinema. Uh, the protocols have been approved by the authorities for the reopening of the cinema. Uh, they did indicate that the uh, owners of the cinema have uh, have been compliant at this point in time, among other measures. Uh, also going to the yachts, 
the yachting sector uh, is, is being reopened. We do have uh, uh, individuals who are on the high seas uh, wanting to come to St. Lucia. We did hear from uh, the uh, Ms. Donalyn Vite, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, that the appetite for tourism in St. Lucia continues, uh, thus uh, the reopening of the sector. Take a listen. You have the second clip from the Honorable uh, The next thing really is that the opening of the yachting sector um, with strict protocols. So in essence, what we are doing right now is all the yachts that currently are in the bubble of about 24 countries in the Caribbean, once they have been in those locations for 14 days, they'll be allowed to come into um, the country without uh, going through a quarantine. Although when they come in, um, whatever marine spots they're going to be to, that they will be properly inspected, their temperatures will be taken, and that there will be medical staff on site at the mooring locations where there are temperatures and there'll be a continual assessment of them um, while they're here in St. Lucia. And that's just not for the yachting sector, the bubble of, of countries, some 24 countries in the region that uh, uh, individuals from there can come to St. Lucia without having to go through uh, the task of uh, getting tested and providing a, 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 COVID, a, a negative COVID-19 test. Um, individuals can also fly in from these islands um, because uh, the government of St. Lucia is satisfied that these islands have uh, been able to contain uh, the uh, the COVID-19 situation in their jurisdictions. Uh, we go to a clip from Dominic Fede, uh, the Honorable Dominic Fede, the Minister for Tourism, as well as the Chair of the Operations Command Center, speaking on the bubble of islands that have been allowed uh, where, when it comes to persons being able to fly into St. Lucia without having to have a test done. That bubble which the Prime Minister referenced in his um, speech uh, include Antigua and Barbuda, Aruba, Anguilla, the Bahamas, Barbados, Bermuda, Bonaire, the British Virgin Islands, Curacao, Dominica, Grenada, Guyana, Jamaica, Montserrat, St. Bartholomew, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Martin, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Martin, uh, Trinidad and Tobago, and the Turks and Caicos. So these are the countries um, that the team have come up with um, led by the CMO and they have determined that these countries have a satisfactory rate of COVID incidents that we can allow them in without the pre-testing. And that was the Honorable Dominic Fede, Minister for Tourism, as well as the Chair of the Operations Command Center. And he did also provide some additional information where St. Lucia is at in terms of its national feeding program, uh, providing a thousand uh, boxes a week to those individuals who at this point in time really need it, uh, those who've been uh, flung into precarious situations due to the COVID-19 situations, and in general, the vulnerable in our society. Uh, he did give an update uh, this, at this point on the national uh, who've been repatriated up to 576 crew have been repatriated so far uh, 500 others uh, coming from land some students uh, individuals who travel for business perhaps uh, from various parts of the world who've so far been repatriated um, there have been I believe I heard that there are 200 uh, who've registered on the website uh, wanting to uh, come back home uh, at this time so those who've run out of monies uh, students as well still wanting to return home and the assurance coming from the external affairs uh, the Ministry of External Affairs as well as other uh, collaborating agencies is that they are working feverishly, assiduously uh, to ensure that uh, these individuals, these nationals who are desirous of returning home can be brought back as soon as possible. Uh, other updates we received was that uh, 17 properties with the uh, opening of high the high risk mm -hmm. sectors uh, entering into phase five, the tourism sector. Uh, we, we've heard from uh, the tourism minister that 17 properties have received COVID-19 compliance certificates. And so 17 properties here in St. Lucia will be able to accommodate um, tourists coming into the island as well as 56 uh, day boat operators. Again, uh, the, uh, this has been done uh, and push one of the factors considered is the appetite for uh, tourism, appetite for coming to St. Lucia, appetite for uh, Saint, the St. Lucian experience and uh, 
there has been uh, much effort going towards individuals um, wanting to come back, wanting to visit St. Lucia. We did also hear from uh, the, the panel yesterday uh, that uh, efforts are, uh, have, have advanced at the airport, the UNR International Airport, uh, for the screening of individuals coming into St. Lucia. Carlton and myself indicated, you know, a few weeks ago that the measures would be very stringent when mm -hmm. it comes to individuals coming into St. Lucia. Every effort will be taken, uh, to, will be made to ensure uh, that uh, we don't have another case of COVID-19, um, but we should not be, uh, what's the word to, oh, how should I put it, complacent. complacent. Uh, the CMO, the chief medical officer, has indicated that they anticipate new cases of COVID-19. As we've seen in the last four cases, at least, uh, these cases were identified while in quarantine, thankfully. So, they, uh, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. they weren't allowed to go tripsing about the place in St. Lucia freely. We've seen the strength and the reason, the rationale um, behind the quarantine facility, uh, more importantly, institutional quarantine, uh, coming into play. Uh, but going back to the airport, uh, the Honorable Fede uh, did speak to the preparations at the Yonora International Airport. Take a listen. We've also been working very hard to get our airport ready. Um, you would have seen on television and on social media uh, pictures circulating with us getting ready a testing or a screening area to ensure that uh, this will bring our airport up to the task of getting ready for COVID within this era of COVID-19. And so uh, we were able to use the tents procured by Event St. Lucia for that purpose and it is now installed at the Urinora International Airport um, for the screening of travelers coming to our country as part of the preparation. But it also meant that the airport would have had to have been equipped with a lot of the equipment to be able to do the screening. Um, I'm happy to report that significant progress have been made in that regard. Um, the various walkthroughs, the various logistical um, uh, walkthroughs that have taken place have put us in very good stead in the preparation of our airports. And just to further assure you, as per the protocols for that sector, uh, the training of hotel workers, the taxi operators, mm -hmm. SLASPA, uh, water-based uh, tourism sector, all these individuals who work within the tourism sector, uh, they have been so far trained at this point in time. Uh, we're also getting word from the Ministry of Tourism, from uh, the Operations Command Center, sorry, uh, that uh, the quarantine requirements mm -hmm. for individuals leaving St. Lucia to go to the UK have been lifted and that is wonderful news uh, it puts us uh, at a great advantage at this point in time uh, and uh, the honorable uh, minister for tourism did indicate that this was against the backdrop of earlier this year the world health organization a green uh, putting us in the green zone one of three countries alone in the world uh, for uh, the, amid this covid 19 scenario so all wonderful news uh, just giving you uh, the tent poles of uh, the update to the nation as received by the Honorable Prime Minister, the Chief Medical Officer, the Chair of the Operations Command Center, and the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism last night. We encourage you uh, after this program uh, to take a, a look at the uh, program, that, that update mm -hmm. uh, that aired live last night. Uh, the, it was recorded on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. In the meantime, we are due for our first break for the morning. Do stay tuned. When we come back, we have the National Conservation Authority representatives in studio uh, to speak to us about how uh, the, uh, the Phase 5, uh, the transition into Phase 5, uh, will impact St. Lucia as it pertains to, uh, most importantly, our shores. Stay tuned. She's been watching, waiting, wondering, when the sands of time will give way to a tide of change and for yesterday and today to become a new tomorrow for a time when her son can kiss the cheeks of your loved one and her stars can twinkle in her honeymoon skies when her earthly embrace will reassure and calm your soul and her unique view can change your whole perspective proud 
proudly she has risen to meet new challenges and to provide safe harbor to all who reach her shores. For her hopes and dreams still stand shoulder to shoulder, a precious reminder of experiences yet to come. So wherever your moments and memories take you, let her sense of adventure set you free. She is Saint Lucia. information, please contact the hotline at 311 or the Bureau of Health Education at 468-5349. Thank you so much for staying tuned. This is the morning update. Today is Tuesday, the 7th of July, 2020. We just went over a list of updates uh, that we received from the government of St. Lucia, the cabinet, uh, as per the advice of the Operations Command Center on entering phase five another or the high risk sectors the opening of the high risk sectors as we transition into a new level of our response to COVID-19. At this time I would like to uh, welcome our guests in studio uh, from the National Conservation Authority uh, Ms. Jacinta Lee the general manager of the authority as well as Ms. Lydia Cox the commercial services officer uh, from the authority in light of the transition for this COVID-19 uh, situation. A special good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wonderful. Good morning, Thank you. Good morning, viewers. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I first want to get an understanding of, uh, for the purpose of our viewers, the work of the NCA and uh, how it will help individuals who perhaps ply their trade um, on the shores, uh, perhaps uh, just individuals who enjoy the, the, the beach uh, from time to time, what is the work of the NCA and zone into uh, how it, it, it ties into the COVID-19 scenario that we're now seeing from the Operations Command Center? Yes, good morning, Jesse. Good, good morning, folks. Good morning. The NCA was established in 1999 by an act of parliament. And we are responsible for identifying, managing, and conserving our natural assets. And as most people know, we do a lot of maintenance on our beaches and also in the coastal areas. Um, we have a number of field staff, about 70, 71 of them, um, all over the, the beaches um, on the island. We have a small office staff, about 10. So it's, 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 a, relatively, it's a relatively large um, staff that we have to deal with. Um, we, if you go to the beaches now, you'll see our, our workers, we call them conservation assistants, um, cleaning, cleaning our beaches. And so we do a lot of that. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. And now we've seen uh, the 
the entering of uh, St. Lucia into phase five of our response to COVID-19. And this will mean that many more people will be right. on the shores. Right. Uh, many more people will be interacting. Uh, uh, if you can just speak to the role of the NCA in advising the general public at this time. Yes, um, I'll say something and, and Cox, <laughs> Lydia would, would jump on. We, what we've noticed is that it's as if people were waiting for the, the, reopening. the reopening of the beaches and people just, uh, uh, you find a lot of people go to all of the beaches. Um, we want to advise people to enjoy, enjoy yourselves. However, make sure that whatever lit garbage you generate on the beaches that you go home with the, with the garbage because you find a lot of that um, garbage end up in the water and mm -hmm. this is really not good for us. When people were staying home, the beaches were clean. <laughs> Worldwide. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Just clean and clear. But, but now we find a lot of people are utilizing the beaches mm -hmm. and they're generating a lot of garbage. I know Ms. Cox wants yeah. to jump on this. Okay. Um, one of the other um, functions of the National Conservation Authority is, um, is the issuance of licenses for vendors on the beach. Mm -hmm. um, and since COVID, we had all vendors being home, not being able to apply the trade on the beach or what we call vend. Mm -hmm. So COVID has affected that activity. The other activity that it has affected very much is the issue of, um, is the activity, is, is um, mass crowd events mm -hmm. that we are also responsible for on our beaches, we grant permission for. So now with the reopening and in phase five, we, you know that with the, the hotels opening, you will wa know that vendors will want to go back to the beach. Mm -hmm. Um, and it is something that we cannot encourage right now. We need to um, inform the vendors that though they will be going back to the beaches, we have to think of the new normal. It will not be business as usual. However, they cannot return to the beach until we say so, because there are a number of things that need to be put in place. Protoc the protocols for the activities on the beach. Also, we have to look at the training of these vendors because everything is going to be different now. It's not mm -hmm. going to be business as usual. And for this reason, we've, uh, we've asked our vendors to stay away from the beach until we've put everything in place to ensure that they are safe and that the persons that they are dealing with, the people that they, they will be dealing with are also safe. So it has affected the NCA, um, the, our clients, our vendors, and of course, um, we know it's going to be a very, it's very difficult for persons right now for people who are depending on vending mm -hmm. to, for their livelihood. Um, as for the mass crowd events, that has been suspended until such time. Mm -hmm. Again, we have to ensure that the pro pro protocols are in place. For the vendors, there are some draft protocols but we're still waiting to ensure that these are what we want to work with and to ensure that these people are properly trained before we send them on the beach. Absolutely. Yeah. And there was a concern uh, about uh, the uh, reopening of tourism, the, 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 the high-risk sectors. Uh, can you speak to perhaps any measures that have been put in place at this time uh, for uh, tourists who we, we know a lot of the hotels have been are on the coastline? Uh, any measures have been put in place uh, to ensure that tourists, uh, the tourist uh, local interaction on the beach, um, the littering uh, advice mm -hmm. is, is adhered to even in that aspect mm -hmm. for tourists as well? Okay, um, I know that the hotels, there are a set of protocols for the reopening of the, of the hotel sector. And I know that in phase one, um, it was agreed that they would not be utilizing the beaches. Mm -hmm. As to right now, I am not sure as to whether that has changed. But from what I know, mm -hmm. or what I knew then, um, that the, they were not supposed to be utilizing the beach. 
the other thing is that we will not be having vendors on the beach. The challenge that we face, however, is that we do not have rangers, the issue of security. Okay. We do not have rangers on the beach. As you know, with before we had rangers and that would help us very much, but currently we have no rangers. Um, that will be a challenge for us. Jesse, mm -hmm. you will appreciate that I can't be everywhere every day. Mm -hmm. And um, given the number of hotels that will be open, it will be difficult to control people we going to the beach monitor. and try to interact. Even our guests too, you may tell them not to, but they may want to do that. Um, so this is a challenge that we have at the moment. In terms of the littering, we continue to do our best to, to speak with the nation as to handling their waste. If you go to the beach and you have an activity, it is our beach. Just like you say it is our beach, remember tomorrow you have to come back and use that same beach. Remember tomorrow your children will have to be using that beach. So the issue of bottles, using bottles and leaving broken bottles, leaving garbage, waste on the beach is something that's going to affect not just one but all of us. So we want to ask people to continue to have that national pride, see it as our beach like you say, let's claim it, let's be the police, and let's, let's embrace it as our own and keep it clean. Ensure that when you're leaving the beach, you take away your waste and dispose of it properly. Or else tomorrow, when you come back, you will find that garbage there and that you have to end up recreating among waste, among broken bottles, and you can get sick, you can get hurt. The other thing too that we have that we just want to mention in terms of the beach and the beach maintenance and beach management is the issue of, we have a, a serious problem with stray dogs right now that we're trying to handle. But we would like to encourage people as they go about walking the dogs on the beach to clean up after them. Remember your children want to come there and build sand castles. You don't want them building castles in the mess. Also, we want them to understand and appreciate the work of our workers on the beach. They too are human beings and their job is very, very important. If there's nobody to clean the beach, what a mess we all will be recreating in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just want to yeah. add in mm -hmm. terms of the, as Lydia mentioned, the dogs. Mm -hmm. um, there are people who feed the dogs on the beaches. They are feeders mm -hmm. tied to the trees and you find the dogs come around. And the, the bad thing about it is that, I mean, I love dogs, I love animals. The bad thing about it is that, particularly at VG, you have a lot of turtles nesting. And you find the dogs, you know, you know dogs, mm -hmm. they will try to dig up. Mm -hmm. um, so we try to discourage, um, you know, dogs from being on, on the beaches. But some people just want the dogs. They, to they don't around. understand the far-reaching effects. Uh, yes. No. No. Um, I also th want to add that the big question is, why don't we have beans on the beach? I know that's a big question. I've had to answer that so many times. But I just want to again say that we've had beans on the beach before. Mm -hmm. It costs us a lot of money. They get stolen. The wheels get stolen. But the biggest problem that we have with the beans is people dumping dead animals in those beans. And these people coming to the beach having to deal with dead animals. It's not fair to them. So what we've done for the past couple of years is that we've contracted um, waste um, haulers, people who will haul the, take the waste to the, to the day glow mm -hmm. um, landfill on a daily basis. So as, our, as the workers finish work on the day, the trucks will come in, take the waste and dispose of them. What happens is after and on weekends, people using the beach after, they find it clean. They mm -hmm. use the beach on the weekend, they will find it clean, they will use it, and then they will leave the bags of waste there. Then the dogs mess it up. We can simply take it with us and find a safe place to dispose of it, a proper place to dispose of it. Yeah, another issue we have, I'm sorry you're talking about all the <laughs> issues, but another issue we have mm -hmm. to deal with is um, fires. People, they, they, they cook in the, the trunk of the trees. And so if you go to, mm. to Sandy Beach, to Viji, you will see it's like whole holes in the mm -hmm. trunks of the mm -hmm. trees. Mm -hmm. it's just holes, mm -hmm. <laughs> not even all over the holes. And they use this as, I don't know, like a coal pot or whatever. 
In fact, we were there last week, yeah. Saturday, and we had to stop a gentleman. Mm -hmm. He had it. He, he came with his raw chicken mm -hmm. in his pan, and he lit, and he lit his fire in in the, in the tree trunk. And so you find a lot of the trees are just burning away, and we wish people wouldn't do that. Okay. And, apart from, and apart from that, some people illegally they, they, they have bonfires mm -hmm. on the beach and. They use pallets with the nails, and what do you think happens? The you know, yeah. you find the, 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 you find the nails in the sand. You find the 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 burnt, the charred um, pallet, mm -hmm. the wood in the sand, and fire. what they do, they bury it, they cover mm -hmm. it with with sand, and people have gotten hurt. Understood by that. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're going to do, uh, just speak. You do, we just got a little insight into your work and the, effort and the challenges yeah. that you're facing at this right. time. Mm -hmm. We're going to venture into that a little bit more and also looking at the achievements of the NCA so far, venturing mm -hmm. away from COVID 19 a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh, do stay tuned. We are speaking to the uh, representatives from the National Conservation Authority. Uh, when we come back, we will be speaking more about their work, their efforts here on island. Stay tuned. As part of government's social stabilization plan to assist persons who have lost their means of earning due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the government of St. Lucia has implemented the Income Support Program, where non-contributors to the NIC shall receive a monthly payment of $500 for the next three months. Taxi drivers, jet ski operators, vendors, agro-processors, tour guides, hairdressers, barbers, small bar and restaurant operators, construction workers, and other sole traders who meet the criteria can apply using the Government of St. Lucia's website www.govt.lc. Payments will be made directly via electronic transfer to the recipient's bank account. The Income Support Program, Simple Strides Towards Recovery. Thank you so much for staying tuned. We are live on NTN with the morning update, uh, bringing you news at, in, at this time of the NCA and their work as it pertains to us entering this new phase of the COVID-19 response, entering high-risk uh, sectors. We have the beaches being open. And of course, there is uh, something to consider, site conservation. Uh, how will the beaches be uh, taken care of at this time? We saw a when COVID-19 hit and everyone was home under lockdown uh, <laughs> worldwide, we, we saw many natural areas returning and the earth returning to its own. And, and as we're seeing the lifting of restrictions and individuals being allowed back onto the beaches, unfortunately, so we're hearing from the NCA that there has been a little bit of indiscriminate littering at this time. Uh, beach maintenance and commercial services. Before I venture into the work, more of the work in general of the NCA, if you could just speak to uh, Lydia, the the efforts toward water-based tourism. Uh, I would understand you, that you would have some sort of purview over that. Um, okay. How will it work out in this new um, scenario? Okay, yeah. Um, we do have some vendors who do the, the debut chartering. Um, I understood that there was some, there was some training. However, what we plan to do is to ensure that there's training for the persons, because what happened is that the, the debut charters would have those who are licensed with us. Mm -hmm. The reason why they're licensed with us is because they need to, they want to ply their, their, their goods on the beach. beach. Mm -hmm. They would like to sell their services on the beach. Um, so the, the persons who will be employed with them, we, they are going to be part of the training mm -hmm. to ensure that they follow the protocol. They, everybody will have to follow the same protocol once it comes to the beach. Because our jurisdiction is on land, on the beach. Mm -hmm. What happens on the water would have to be dealt by Slasbor. Um, so they would have gone through the training, the, the, the owners of these boats, those, those day boat charters, mm -hmm. would have gone through their training with the Ministry of Tourism. But the workers, the employees, mm -hmm. will now have to go through that training to ensure that they, they follow the protocol and to be able to live with the new normal. 
what has been the interaction with the NCA and uh, the Operations Command Center, perhaps, in terms of getting some sort of regulation on our Well, lines? what we have been doing is that we've been in communication with the Ministry of Tourism. Okay. So there, there is a draft, like I said earlier, the draft protocols. Mm -hmm. So we're just waiting to, to ensure that everything is okay for with the protocols and then to look at training for these mm -hmm. these vendors on the beach. Yeah, we've Everybody who will be operating on the beach mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. will have to go for the training. But we've been interacting and working with the Ministry of Tourism. Mm -hmm. okay. we've and of course, we've been liaising also yeah. with the, the, the uh, um, Environmental Health Department. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Now, moving on to the work of the NCA, um, I do, you have uh, equipped us with an annual report <laughs> mm -hmm. document, April 1st, 2018 to March 31st, 2019. And if you could just speak about, uh, first, the achievements of the NCA uh, at this time. You know, we'll get to the challenges <laughs> in, in a bit. Yes. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the achievements of the, the NCA, so we know that the, the being confronted with the, the the dreaded sargassum seaweed yes. um, yeah. here on island and this part of the world. Um, if you could just open with that, uh, what triumphs have we made in terms of dealing with the sargassum seaweed? Right. We have worked, or are working, we are working right now with Algas Organics. You know, Joanne is um, Dujon. Mm -hmm. And that has been going very well. In fact, right now we started a project that it commenced uh, on Monday, and we're going on for two to six weeks um, this time around, where we have employed, in, in, in conjunction with Algas Organics, um, 20, 20 workers from the Viewfort area mm -hmm. to, to bag the sagasum and also to, to, to um, help with the spreading and the drying. Now, these people were trained um, last year in how to handle um, the sargassum seaweed. So that went very well. We trained approximately 120 persons from Denry, Prale, Miku, and, and Viewfort. And so what we're doing now is to using, using those persons um, to, to, to help with the project. Okay, so the there's sargassum. definitely still sargassum. Oh, oh yes. Can you, can it's, you, it's, based it's, on the observation, can you tell us what the, the extent of it is um, as compared to previous years? It's, I, I don't know, it's, it's bad. <laughs> I, we were in Viewfort, just hold on, Cox. <laughs> we were, in fact, we were in Viewfort um, yesterday and it was amazing to see the amount of sargassum that's there. We also went to, um, to the hotel, Coconut Bay. To Co Coconut Bay, and there was so much sargassum there. And it, it was it was mind-boggling. But the other thing too is mm -hmm. that we we see in the sargassum, like we did the last time coming up through Viji, the Viji Beach. We not a whole lot, but we do have some there as well. But the good thing about it is that um, Algas Organics could is able to utilize. Mm -hmm. the, the sagasso so to transform it much into more than he can yes mm -hmm. that? it's much more than he can use now yes mm -hmm. it's 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 a whole lot mm -hmm. and and you find when they begin to you know sagasso begins to to rot yeah. unbelievable stench causing respiratory mm -hmm. Coronavirus, but children are safe, no? Hold up. Children are actually more likely to touch all kinds of surfaces, put their hands on their mouths and their eyes, or sneeze and cough with little thought about hygiene when around others. While children have been seen to recover well from this virus, they can easily spread it to those more at risk, like the elderly or ill persons who have a weaker immune system. Teach the little ones in your care to be little powerhouses of infection prevention. Keep reminding them, wash, wash, wash your hands. Cover your mouth with tissue or your inner elbow when you sneeze and cough. And be sure to praise them when you see them taking these precautions. 
Our health is in our hands. Together, through simple actions, we can stop the spread of coronavirus. This message was brought to you by the Bureau of Health Education of the Ministry of Health and Wellness. devastating epidemic can start in any country at any time and kill millions of people because we're not prepared, because we're still vulnerable. Epidemiologic investigations are underway, but yes, it's certainly possible that there's limited human-to-human -human transmission. I'm declaring a public health emergency of international concern over the global outbreak of novel coronavirus. We have a window of opportunity. While the number of cases, more than 99% are in China, in the rest of the world, we only have 176 cases. Let's use this window of opportunity to really invest in prevention, to invest in control and prevent this virus from spreading. It's time to act. The detection of this small number of cases could be the spark that becomes a bigger fire. And if the world doesn't want to wake up, and consider this enemy virus as public enemy number one, I don't think we will learn from our lessons. We have over 400 scientists. There's been huge global interest in this topic and a real desire to collaborate and contribute. Our window of opportunity is narrowing. And that's why we called the international community to act. We've had enough countries now import disease. It is time to prepare. It is time to do everything you would do in preparing for a pandemic. All countries can be looking for cases right now. All countries can be aggressively finding those first cases and following those contacts over time. Shortages are leaving doctors, nurses, and other frontline health workers dangerously ill-equipped to care for COVID-19 patients. This is not a drill. This is not the time to give... Thank you so much for staying tuned. Uh, we have been experiencing some technical difficulties this morning for which I profuse, profusely mm -hmm. apologize. Uh, the live broadcast uh, with the National Conservation Authority representatives uh, was going so well and we are sorry <laughs> to disappoint uh, with the break, the interruption in that broadcast. But we continue nonetheless and hope that you can stay tuned for the duration of this morning's program. 
If you're just joining us, so we are speaking to Ms. Jacinta Lee, the General Manager of the National Conservation mm -hmm. Authority, as well as the Commercial Services Officer, Ms. Lydia Cox. And they've been speaking to us about conservation efforts, not just in light of this COVID-19 scenario, uh, but their efforts in general so far. And I believe when before the live just went off, we were speaking about the uh, sargassum so seaweed mm -hmm. and the efforts toward... Um, containing it for tourism uh, and general conservation purposes. And Lydia, I believe you were about to speak on, you know, that uh, it has been the worst that you have seen in your yeah. career. Well, yes, um, I, um, I went to Coconut Bay yesterday and in, indeed it, it has been, this is the worst I've seen Coconut Bay area. And for me, I mean, it, it really definitely will affect the hotel and the guests. Mm -hmm. um, we do not know what can be done, but I think um, the stakeholders will have to come together and do an assessment of the situation and see how best we can assist. Um, but um, for us, we try our best, but I think it's now overpowering. <laughs> it's quite a bit in the south of the island, that is. Okay. Um, just moving on to uh, the other achievements of the NCA so far in terms of uh, uh, conservation, uh, Club. the sensitization <laughs> right. of conservation here in St. Lucia. Yeah. Um, getting young people to understand its importance. Uh, can you speak to the efforts uh, uh, in the, the, the medium term so far? Right. We, together with the, the assistance of the United States Peace Corps, um, established five, five um, conservation clubs um, in schools. And we had in Corinth, Corinth Secondary, Grosely Secondary, Ancillary, PI, Marshall. and the Marshall School. And that went very well. Um, the, the, the students were quite excited. They formed their own um, clubs, conservation clubs, um, in the schools. They participated in activities um, on the beaches, did beach profiling mm -hmm. um, with the Ministry, of the, Ministry of, of the Fisheries Department. They also um, design bins and if you look in our in our in our report mm -hmm. you'd see that um, each of the schools designed a bin they painted um, you know they painted the graphics and all sorts of things on the bin, on the bins and what we did um, we, we placed those bins on the beaches mm -hmm. so so that has been going very well you're supposed to to have um, two other Peace Corps volunteers this year. But because of COVID, this, we had to put a, a, well, the US had to put a hold to that. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping that by next year, we'll be able to continue the program okay. with, 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 the, with the volunteers. Okay, what other hiccups have you experienced so far due to, to the COVID-19 situation in terms of your mandate, executing your mandate in general? Hmm. Actually, right. The, well, in terms of, of our revenue, mm -hmm. <laughs> our revenue intake, um, because no vendors on the beach, so we can't get any money. Mm -hmm. no we have no activities, no money. Mm -hmm. We have the tenants who cannot operate. Most of them cannot operate. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, the, the, remember the Prime Minister said that um, the, the tenants wouldn't pay any rent. Yeah, right, until sensitivities to them. Right, until September. And so, so that's an issue in terms of our revenue from, from, these, from these sources. But let me just add that the, the vendors and the tenants um, have been participating in the, the economic relief program um, set, up, set up by the government. A num number of them have applied, um, and we have applied for those who are unable to do so. So, so that is going um, very well, and they should be getting the the five hundred dollars. I think is a month mm -hmm. um, for three months. So that is going okay. Okay, I see at the top of your challenges that you so far have experienced is the lack of uh, security and safety on the beaches. Mm -hmm. um, if you mentioned it briefly, uh, Lydia, I believe earlier, if you could just expand on, on that challenge and perhaps how it will affect us going forward, what measures may need to be considered from you, uh, GM, mm -hmm. uh, as we enter this uh, new COVID-19 uh, 
storyline. Let me, oh, I mean, but, but let me just say, I mean, probably, probably Lydia could come in, that um, there used to be rangers on the beaches um, years ago, but then these rangers uh, they were absorbed into the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. However, with the, with the assistance of the SLHTA, you're able to um, get funding for three rangers on the, on the Raidway Beach. Um, so we are happy for that. However, we need to have security on all of our beaches. Mm -hmm. And we're hoping going forward that we'll be able to do so. But, but many thanks to the SLHTA for assisting us um, in that regard, with respect to the rangers. It's really important that we have rangers on, on the beaches. So Lydia, I don't think to add yeah. to, add to that. Okay, it's um, just to expand on the importance of having security on our beaches. Mm -hmm. First of all, let me just say a big thank you to the Royal Sunnyshire Police Force. Um, as a commercial services officers, officer sorry, of the NCA, the support that I've received from the Royal Sunnyshire Police Force is just beyond what I expected. <laughs> They've been very supportive. Um, and they, you know they work with limited resources, but they've been very, very supportive. However, we, the importance is what I want to stress on of our security on the beaches. During, well, normal time, um, I didn't say normal time, mm -hmm. because we now have the COVID situation to deal with. We, have, we face with a situation where we have illegal vendors on the beach. We have people plying all kind of things on the beach, people selling all sorts of things on the <laughs> beach that we would not normally grant licenses for. You're talking about so illicit activity? <laughs> illegal activities <laughs> taking place illegal on the beach. Um, so we, what, we, what in, in my experience at the NCA during my 20 years is that what I found is that during the time of the Rangers, mm -hmm. we had less littering, we had less of these activities taking place and less illegal activities as well in terms of planned activities, um, parties on the beach. Because to have a, an activity on the beach, you need to come to the NCA to put in an application. Um, what we do is um, we would have persons, people tend to believe that we're going to charge them for every activity. But it depends on the activity you're going to have. Be it a wedding, be it a birthday party, anything that you're going to do on the beach, where it's an organized activity, you need to come to us. In most cases, what we ask is that you put a refundable deposit. And the refundable deposit is one to force people to clean the beach after them. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's just sad that we have to do it that way. But you find that a lot of people sometimes leave the area uncleaned. And you we have, have to do these things. So it's a refundable mm -hmm. deposit. Once you clean, we, we, we give it back to you. So with the rangers on the beach, you find that these activities are more controlled. Mm -hmm. Also, the, our vendors are also kept, they were kept in check. So if you have the rangers there, persons who did not pay their license will be checked on. Understood. And also less harassment in terms of visitor harassment. So the, 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 the security on the beach is very, very important. It, it did very well for us in the past, and we think um, we're going to continue to beg because we really need them there. <laughs> uh, especially now that we're going to be putting new, new, um, there's the new protocols in place. Mm -hmm. um, people may not want to adhere to the new rules. And if you have rangers on the beach, they too can assist us. Of course, our rangers always get the assistance of the police when needed. But we cannot really depend on the police full Solely. time mm -hmm. because the police, they have limited resources and they have a lot of work to do. They do assist us, but we need our own rangers on the beach who will be there, who will be stationed there. Um, because the police can come if you, have a, if you have an issue, but they have to go because they have other work to do. Whereas if you have the rangers stationed there, they can ensure that the rules and regulations are adhered to by persons mm -hmm. using the beach. If I can just go a step further, we were experiencing the uh, issue of illegal border entry. Yes. You know, and, uh, and the role of the NCA, the Rangers would uh, prove very uh, helpful yeah. in, in that effort. Depending no, but, but on the, the picture, where they yeah, are. Yes, but no, that alone, um, the illegal entries, um, I think they used to take place at, at, at night. And our Rangers our work, rangers work at night, ju yeah. just during mm -hmm. the day. Okay. You know, so. So depending on the beach helped. and the time. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> of the activity. <laughs> yes. Folks, I hand over to you. Merci un peu, Jesse. Et encore, nous allons vous remercier pour qui a suivi. Nous allons prendre apologie encore pour qu'ils savent. Nous tenions un petit difficulté là, ils viennent pour écouter ma histoire, mais nous avions à souci même. Sous quoi qu'a-t-il est ça qui a fait là? En studio, bon matin, puis nous, nous ni c'est représentative nationale conservative authority. Ça c'est c'est maintenant qui est responsable pour ensier qu'on nous connaît les. Uh, nous sommes General Manager ici et puis nous sommes Mazer Justin Dali. Et puis nous sommes uh, Madame na, qui est un service officier commercial. Ça c'est Mazer Lydia Cox. Et je suis bien content de ici et puis nous. Et puis uh, yo, kayan, nous sommes nous parce que nous savons qu'à suivre et nous savons chaque dit nous. Depuis nous dit NCA, nous savons autorité ça. Yo est responsable pour chaque c'est un propriétaire. Nous ni bord la mer puis bord la mer et pour faire assurer il n'est pas parmi l'autre bagaille nettoyer mettre bagaille en place. Faire assurer bagaille qui marcher bien expressement. Là est venu pour propriétaire nous en Sainte Lucie. Quoi bon moi dit et merci pour votre qui venir. Nous apprécier ça. Tout bonnement. Eh bien, je vais commencer et puis Mazeli. Mazeli, <laughs> sous ça, juste un nick dino. Mon katan NCA mm -hmm. et puis organisation. Sous ça, nick dino à d'un yon de Timoso Paol. Mm -hmm. Qui sa organisation sa yé? Et puis, um, moi, observe ou vini aussi. Et puis, um, un document ici, à nous, un livre. Kamouche ou à poa. Pour pour mon sa copain, c'est pas un nick organisation qui est un nick là. Quand tu bien dit, euh, organisation ça est fini en, en l'année 1999. Et en parmi l'autre bagaille, autre mitoire. Quand on dit nous, organisation ça, et puis responsabilité ou même, qui manière ou même connecté organisation? Organisation. 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 Quand on dit. Il a pour des facilités. Donc, nous avons un chai moun qui clean. Nettoyer. Nettoyer le bord de la mer. Et ça, ça a allé bien. Nous avons des contracteurs qui sont venus pour amasser les ordres et jeter. Um, nous ni un um, mon office là qui mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. a travaillé um, aussi ok so nous ni um, un chai moun um, qui a travaillé et puis NCA et mm -hmm. yo ka fe un bon job un bon job, mm -hmm. um, bon job. Mm -hmm. um, là ni un um, chai bagay mm -hmm. um, yo need pour um, take care of mm -hmm. <laughs> right? mm -hmm. oui oui et ou sav um, les moun ale à ce beach là. Mm -hmm. Yo just content kite zodi yo tout partout. De de ye. De OK. Et nou ka di moun le ou ka ale ale mm. et puis zodi yo. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Et ni moun ka di kon sa ah si nou pa kite zodi a la um mm, ni doit vai vai. Right. Pa ni pa to vai. Ça c'est magie. Oui, oui. Right? Um so right exactly. Mm -hmm. Le, le ou la caillou ou pas qu'à faire ça. Ou pas mm -hmm. juste jeter bagay um, mm -hmm. tout partout. Et right. puis, oui, et puis, euh, yon a ces bagay là, ou peut-être quelqu'un qui a chile dit, pour qui ça m'a dit, il a dit ça, et quand parmi bagay qu'on nous a discuté, il a dit, le monde vient et puis ses ordres, ça, yon y commet un différent problème. En parmi yon, le euh, monde vient et puis chien, chien qui a fait bouillon, yon parmi yon la bord la mer, le monde qui te zodi chien ka déchiré c'est 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 sachia c'est nylon nayo qui te c'est vieux papier mangé à sali bord de la mer et ça qui bien important changer là ni travaille à peu près 71 travaille et puis c'est monde ça après yo nettoyer monde qui vient après yo sali bord de la mer et puis chien canic twine chaye zodi à tout partout bouteille tel qu'on bouteille ou ça ça y est soit bord la mer quand bouteille coupe ou en en glo la mer toutes ces bagages ça au niveau pour en considération yo l'homme non là il vient pour ces carottes là qui va venir la pomme zé ces chiens qui a fouillé zé en l'autre problème yo ni encore quoi au cas où raison qui yo ici a rodi a commandé mon souple et qui on a ces bagages là nous qui tant non c'est là il vient pour covid quand Covid nous t'a une petite pause là et puis Covid monde pas t'est permis pour aller bord de la mer nous e bord de la mer t'est qu'a été bien net avec toute bagaille t'est en place 
Vini à présent, quand nous nous vie ouvert, nous vie qui a commencé, ouais, même bagaille, like, nous avons encore euh, euh, souple, nous avons demandé ou en public, n'importe qui a eu bord de l'homme, souple, pas jeter Zordou là, sous Vineb Zordou, allez puis. Alors, ouais. problème, vite, moi, là, il vient pour diffé bord de l'homme, en ses pieds bois, ses cochons, il y a qui a tiré bagaille en bas de toutes ces bagailles, ça nous a dit, monsieur, place là, bord de l'homme, c'est sans nous. Si nous croisons, si nous détruisons, c'est ça, nous nous détruisons. Et puis, yo ni, eh, eh, ça, yo ni pour faire responsabilité, c'est ça, yo. Quand si chaque monde fait ça, yo ni pour faire, il ka fait pli aisé. Je vais aller à Mazé Cox. En parmi les choses, je vais vous responsable pour ces Wivendez là. Je vais responsable pour faire une licence qui peut être faire une activité là. Et puis, ça qui a fait. Expressement, euh, maintenant, nous sommes capables de parler de euh, ces affaires. Si vous avez un problème, nous avons un problème. On a parlé de ces bagages qui ont commencé, et puis euh, c'est Wivan Deslin, et puis les bagages qui ont vie ouvert. On a parlé de ces bagages qui ont été en train de faire ça. Ok. Oui, nous avons une responsabilité pour ces gens qui ont vendu le bois de la mer. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mais actuellement, quand nous avons eu COVID, là, nous avons mm -hmm. tout le bagage te mm. asou on, on pause. Oui, oui, so, oui, oui. nous pari pèse oui vendez personne ka vann bol de l'homme à présent. Mm -hmm. Mais comme bagay commence ka ouvè, mm. bagay kom ka y diferon. Oui, oui. Actuellement la ou pe ni ou, um, 300, 400, 700 chèz asou bi asou bol de l'homme. Mm -hmm. Mais comme on ka comme on comme comme ka comme ka vie ouvè à présent, bagay ka ni diferon. Bon avant nous, oui, nous, oui, 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 nous, oui, 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 nous, oui, 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 Mm -hmm. Nous avons nou nou pour à présent mettre des en place. Mm -hmm. Jouer les pio, et ces gens qui aller bord de la mer ouais. et dire qui manière nous avons fait des choses. Parce que nous avons fait des choses. Nous avons fait des choses. Nous avons fait des choses. Nous avons fait des choses à présent. Mm -hmm. so, pour actuellement, nous ne pouvons pas personne. C'est le temps là où nous ne pouvons pas faire personne mm -hmm. avant de nous faire ça. Nous pouvons mettre des choses en place avant. Nous avons fait Mm -hmm. Alors, il c'est um, activité bon, bon beach là, où ça mm -hmm. nous avons go activité comme Mercury, mm -hmm. nous toutes ces go, um, bagay ka, go mm -hmm. on sav, wet mm -hmm. fête bagay comme ça. Actuellement, mm -hmm. nous pas ni un yé comme ça. Mm -hmm. Actuellement, nous avons fait un petit bagay, sous ni un petit bœuf de parti pour un petit maman, et peut-être nous avons fait un bien, monde voulait faire un os. Mm -hmm. Un mm -hmm. os, le monde voulait maillé, nous avons parlé mm -hmm. mm -hmm. un petit bagay, mais mm -hmm. pas un yé qui go. Toutes ces bagay ça là, quand nous pouvons faire différent. So pour actuellement mm -hmm. um, Cox, mm -hmm. nou, personne pas calé à sou à sou bitch là. Moi ça à dans ces monde là qui ni ti um, comment on dit ça um, pas qu'à notre temps um, ti botio. Mm, okay. C'est un petit bateau, c'est un bateau qui a fait un café, 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 un tout le bagay là, un mm. ordre from slash baby ministerisme. Mm. Mais pour nous, nous ne pouvons pas faire ça um, ni ce qui est bon de la mer avant de nous faire ça. Nous pouvons faire. Oui. Puis nous pouvons mettre des cailloux en place. En place, en ordre, ordre. Avant, avant de nous voir les gens là. Oui. Puis nous ne pouvons pas mettre les gens à ce bon de la mer et que nous ne pouvons pas mettre en place et que nous sommes malades. Mm. Puis nous ne pouvons pas faire ça, mais mm -hmm. nous ne nous, nous, nous pouvons pas garder pour santé les gens et mm -hmm. santé le pays. Là, puis bagay COVID ça nous ha ka fait tellement bien et puis nous pas vrai faire rien qui ka cause problème pour pays mm -hmm. OK oui oui um cause nous pas bay moun um permission pour aller faire activités à ce beach là mais ouais en dimanche oui dimanche au soir si vous allez bord de la mer là pour pièce bord de la mer Pigeon Point. Mm -hmm. 
Comme si dit c'est tous les dimanches. Comme si dit un gros carnaval. Là, you know, moon baby, go music yo. You know, barbecue. Et on n'y pour une permission from NCA, police, from the police pour pour am pour nous aider bord de la mer. And but yo là tous les dimanches, café yo tout en am am débuit. Oui. Et dit fait yo et là yo quitte yo qui a quitté tout bagaille. Tout cochon ni yo. Um, um, de, bord de la mer. Ouais. So, so, even though nous pas qu'à by permission, oui. mais l'année monte tous les dimanches. Illégal. Yo qu'à aller. Yo qu'à faire ça. Fait ça. En, en l'autre bagarre, yo qu'à faire. Yo qu'à faire. Quoi, 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 do not wheel, do not mm, thing. Oui, yo qu'à faire ces machines, yo qu'à faire ce drag et puis ces machines. Oui, oui. Right. As so bitch là. Oui. As so bitch là. And 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 like l'année tima mai là. En l'autre thing. En l'autre bagaille, il y a des véhicules, des machines, et il y a des parcs. 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 Um, uh, vite, uh, pas de temps nous avons parlé avec uh, Jesse et qui a discuté ça. Les venus pour problème um, s'orgasme, dans si vite, nous avons expressement les venus pour ça, uh, façade soleil, um, les vents, nous avons mm -hmm. bordel, ripoir, l'un des sons, nous avons parlé de ça. Et qui ça, ainsi, j'ai fait, moi, tant about un traînement pour uh, plus de 100 personnes, manière pour amasser, manière pour agir, et puis, mm -hmm. parlez un petit peu de ça. Oui, Cox, nous no, no, avons fait un um, uh, uh, chai travail et puis M. Léonce. M. Doujon, M. Doujon. M. Doujon, nous avons employé deux trois personnes dans le pays mm -hmm. pour ça amasser le um, seaweed là, pour mm -hmm. ça s'écrire et pour ça servir. Mais la mais, quantité de seaweed nous n'y a pas. M. Doujon n'a pas servi tout ça, <laughs> tout ça seaweed. Et le mois de hier, nous descendons. Um, v4 et que moi je suis allé à um, un hôtel Coconut Bay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. et que moi je n'ai jamais eu si vite qu'on a. Et il est comme, il sait un bagaille qui a fait un chai problème. Puis ça c'est un hôtel. Ou quand il y a des gens qui viennent à l'hôtel, ça là. Mm -hmm. L'ODA. Oui, c'est ce que je veux dire. Et que les gens qui viennent à l'hôtel, c'est pour, pour l'hôtel, pour l'hôtel, pour, 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 pour le soleil, soleil là. Et que vous passez les gens qui viennent à l'hôtel, c'est pour ça. Donc, moi, c'est un gros problème. Mais ça, nous, quand nous avons fait ça, nous avons pour garder et parler pour l'autre organisation, pour nous aller ensemble, aller garder et faire un petit ensemble en ce moment et ouais qui manière nous ça fait aider situation mais juste pas juste ça tout seul nous n'y pour aller nous n'y mis coup nous n'y résident qui a été en ça et pour l'année il y aura ni problème ça là et il semble c'est un problème qui plus gros passé nous toutes puis même si au tiwe si oui là il a évité nous ne savons pas qui manière et bien, qui ça qui ça ça fait mm -hmm. pour ça mener un tout soulagement par ces monde qui ne pour pour l'ordre de ça là bon matin tous les jours les soirs yo ka mm -hmm. dormir dedans yo ka lever dedans um, si c'est un problème qui go et nous 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 ka continuer parler about les pour mm -hmm. qui ça qui ça fait euh, vite man. là il vient pour euh, ces travailleurs parce que nous ka ça Quand Covid a affecté quand tes secteurs, mm -hmm. les venus pour travailler ainsi et puis euh, manière YouTube fait quoi y a affecté parce que quand nous pas bien tenu quoi, y a aussi un parmi secteurs qui a travaillé et puis mm -hmm. euh, directement les venus pour ça faire et touristes là. Est-ce que ces mondes ça a qualifié qui ça a fait okay. pour aider ces mondes ça? Est-ce un copain de vous fait application pour euh, euh, soulagement gouvernement Kabay bah ces mondes ça? Oui. Ok. Oui. Oui. Ok. En tout ça, problème dans nous, nous n'y est Covid là. Moi, moi n'y pour dire NCA et management NCA, j'ai fait un bon job. Puis, nous te, nous te voué ces travailleurs, pour un mois. 
yo moi seulement que c'est pour moi j'ai tout seul et ça nous fait à nous nous en office là mm -hmm. nous prend responsabilité à pour nous mettre application bio um et et NIC et yo ha viwe en travail li pou mye jwe yo jwe yo vie en travail mais nous ha fait application ba yo mhm pis nou yo tout ka paye NIC nou ka paye NIC ba yo so moi j'ai nous même nous tout tout moun en office là nous vinn ensemble avec nous mais fait application ba parce que ou ka apresier ces moun ça a dans yo pani computer yo pani oui et nous nous ha fait nous ha metti application entre ba yo et nous ka espérer dat yo ka joine la han pour moi jeune jean from NCA so sorry from NIC mais NCA ha metti application ba yo so ça c'est un bon bagage nous que nous ha fait pour aider c'est travail mais c'est travail là travail à havier travail depuis euh les premiers mois ça so you have your travail um c'est l'autre monde cette monde qui affecté qui plus affecté c'est c'est monde qui ca river des la bord de la mer oui mais c'est monde ça yo c'est river des yo ca payer nous en licence mais ça nous fait ha fait a dans dio ha a dans dio te ca payer ici et ça c'est un bon bail m'a voulu dire a dans dio te ca payer ici so il était plus aisé ba yo mais c'est ça qui pas te ca payer ici nous ha assisté yo a chaide yo mettre application et que ca SP pour gouvernement baioti anti soulagement mais quand nous ca combat ca changer nous ca dit c'est mon ça ou ca ni pour payer en Haïti continuer payer en Haïti parce que il ca il ca bénéficier nous nous pièces pas de ça ça qui ca fait jodi a so c'est en bagaille nous ca ni pour continuer encourager yo pour payer en Haïti même si on ca travail pour ko yo pis demain yo pas ça ça ca fait et là yo fini là et que pas ça travailler ko yo ca ni pour jeune ti là en bail ça pour aider yo Belle cause. Oui, Mais yeah. elle um, <laughs> dernière parole qu'on uh, nous venir pour qu'à um, finir ici a dernière parole vous voulez dire qui ça vous voulez dire en uh, 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 fin qu'on um, nous finir là. Um when 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 pour dire <laughs> merci mm -hmm. pour um, gouvernement. Mm -hmm. um, manière il 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 handle um, covid covid, COVID mm -hmm. pandemic. Um nous à ce point actuellement les borders là ouvert mm -hmm. right and ça c'est un bon bagage mm -hmm. um no want to we want to encourage mm -hmm. um um moon mm -hmm. let you aller à ce beach là pour aller romeo et puis et zodio mm -hmm. right pas pas marcher chien yo à ce beach là et pour chien pour besoin yo à ce beach là pour mon marché à à ça yo yo ni pour um pick it up yeah ben merci oui c'est tout qualité bagaille yo ka dia nous voulons mon um enjoy mhm à miser ko yo à ce beach là et nous voulons dire c'est mon nom qui ca aller pigeon point dimanche au soir Make sure let you can go and be Zodio. You don't need to, if you want to play loud music, you don't need to go to the police to get license. You don't need to go to NCA to join the police to get license. You don't need to go to the police to get license. You don't need to go to the police to get license. Yes, Mazer Cox. Oui, moi je l'ai dit encore. Nous j'avais bien, nous j'avais lui fait bien et moi ni pour applaudir le ministre de santé et docteur Belma George et puis Timli. Il a fait un bon, un bon travail pour nous actuellement. Mon ça garder nous et que ou pas peur venir cette ici. Mais moi je l'ai dit mon Covid pas encore fini. Même si nous cas ouvert. C'est un bagage non pour apprendre pour 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 vivre et puis mais il peut encore finir. Ce propre caution qu'on a allé faire affaire ou save ou ni pour protéger corps ou protéger corps ou protéger famille ou protéger commune. Quand nous ca mettez bagage en place pour 
pour faire mon vie en travail mm -hmm. nous kay dio what um n'est pas protocole nous mettez en place nous kay mm -hmm. vle yo um suivre ces protocoles ça et faire ça yo ni pour faire mm -hmm. pour assurer nous pas ni pli um casse mm -hmm. um ka. Nous ne parlons plus de COVID dans le pays. Et nous avons dit que nous changer de la mais c'est sans nous tous. So, ce n'est pas ça que nous avons demandé de faire, ce n'est pas pour NCA, mais c'est pour changer de main. Il faut qu'il vienne à ce bitch-là, ou même qu'il vienne à ce bitch-là. Ce n'est pas ça que fait, tout le monde toujours catché, c'est sans nous y aller, et nous avons embrassé, et nous avons protégé pour tout le monde. Eh bien, merci tellement. <laughs> nous apprécions notre venir Et puis là, on dit, dames, quand tu fais un bagage qui a fait, eh bien, l'organisation NCA qui est responsable pour le mais parmi l'autre, c'est facilité à encore quand encourager ou sous aller la mise en activité ou supposer une permission. Parmi l'autre, il y a un autre parti épisode où pas quitter là, pas quitter chien, et manger, et je dis, pas quitter chien, faire bouser là, mais c'est parce que c'est un côté nous, tout cas, servi expressement. Là, il vient pour, je dis, ces bouteilles là, par exemple, les sacs cassés, les aïe anglo, c'est pas un bon bagage, bon, nous, pièce, et pas, pas oublier, c'est pas où il y a servi bord de la mer, l'an mamay, l'an imoun, et l'on a catché à délai pour servir machine, nous, pour faire ce drag, pour faire différents bagages, l'an imoun, sécurité, moun, et ça oua, ou ni pour point ça en considération. Nous avons fait nous avons fait nous avons fait des choses, 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 nous avons fait our field workers, our field staff for just the month of June. But what we did is we, because they are paying NIC contributors, we were able to, on their behalf from the office, um, apply on their behalf for their contribution for the month of June, and they have since back at work. The other sector that have been really affected is the vendors. Mm -hmm. Now, some of them were paying NIC, and it, were, it was easier for them to apply and, and get some kind of relief. However, you have most of them were not paying, but what we've done is that because the government is now agreeing to give some kind of relief, we have been assisting them from the office by applying on their behalf. Wow. However, I would like to say to the vendors that you need to pay your <laughs> NIC. Moving forward, you need to pay your NIC because it is your money you're putting away for later. <laughs> And um, we none of us saw what was going to happen today with COVID. But besides, when you get older, when you retire, when you can no longer work, this is what you're going to be depending on to give you a little something on a monthly basis so you can survive. Um, so we'd like to encourage them to now look at this whole thing and revisit how they do their business and to pay the NIC contribution. And Ms. Uh, yeah. just, uh, just, just one, just one more thing. Sorry, mm -hmm. <laughs> just one more thing. Yes, and then I would just like to urge Saint Lucians to remember that this beach belongs to all of us. It, when you, when we're asking you to keep the beach clean and to do certain things on the beach, it is not for the NCA, but it is for us. Remember, your children visit that beach tomorrow. You go walking on the beach. You recreate on that beach. You have to come back to that beach. Your children are going to be make, building the sand castle in the beach. And whatever you leave there can affect them. Um, remember that to have an activity on the beach or to vent on the beach, you need the permission of the NCA. And I would like to leave our number. You can reach our office at 459-0278. 459-0278, or you can even call me direct at 724-0700. Call us if you need an inf information, further information for as far as activities on the beach are concerned. Please, we're working with you. This is for all of us. Thank you. <laughs> and Ms. Lee? <laughs> um, as I said in Creole, mm -hmm. um, I just want to say kudos to 
the government and, and all the, the, the workers um, who made it possible for us to reach this stage. Um, they are very strategic in, in, the, in the planning, so we're now at stage five. Our borders are open um, and people can come in. And I want to thank the government for that. But I want to encourage our vendors, when they go back to the beach, to adopt whatever protocol that is in place. They must do that. Because if they do get affected, they will go home and affect their children. They're one of the main points of contact. And their community. Yes. Yeah. And, their community. Yes. and some of them could be very, um, not aggressive, but you know, wanting to, to make a dollar and being in people's faces, you know, trying to get um, a, a business. And so we want to, we really want to encourage them to, to adopt whatever protocol that's in place. And they are not to go to the beach to vend at the, mo at, at the moment. Mm -hmm. At until this they moment, get until they get clearance, clearance from us. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. And to th I want to thank mm. NTN. <laughs> thank, yes. thank you, Colts, so thank you, Jesse, Jesse thank um, you. For, for having us here this morning. It has been a pleasure uh, <laughs> speaking to you both. Unfortunately, we, we uh, had interruptions yes, you know, during the right. course yeah. of our lives, but we do uh, definitely appreciate the information we've been getting from you. We know our coastlines are a point of interaction, uh, not only with us locals, but with tourists. What will the right. new normal be like uh, when persons go to recreate at the beaches and interact with vendors and interact with workers of the NCA? Um, mm. I'm looking forward to how that will pan out uh, and trusting in the NCA uh, for <laughs> good stewardship of that. Uh, Ms. Jacinta Lee, General Manager, and uh, Ms. Lydia Cox, the Commercial Services Officer at the NCA, speaking to us this morning in light of uh, this uh, Phase 5 COVID-19 scenario that we're entering into. Uh, thank you once again for your time. Thank you. Thank you for having and, us. Thank you. As we wrap up, we just want to remind you of uh, the uh, permissions, uh, the, the laxing of uh, uh, restrictions that have been announced by uh, the Honorable Prime Minister. Uh, after being advised by the Operations Command Center. And to go over them, the curfew will be dropped as of July 10th. Please take note of that. There will no longer be a curfew. Um, yachting will be introduced as we entering phase five. We're mm -hmm. opening the high risk sectors. <laughs> so yacht um, persons who have yachts coming in from uh, various countries and other jurisdictions will be allowed to come into uh, St. Lucia. Of course, uh, that is within the bubble of the 24 countries that were listed uh, by the Chairman of the Operations Command Center, Honorable Minister for Tourism, Dominic Fede. Uh, also, we have 17 uh, properties have received COVID-19 compliance, and that is within the tourism sector. And we're seeing that uh, persons will be allowed. We have the, the opening of our borders. Uh, persons will be coming in uh, for uh, tourism, enjoying uh, St. Lucia, ex the experience of St. Lucia. We've heard from the authorities that there is still an appetite uh, for St. Lucia, despite uh, the COVID-19 situation going on globally. Uh, persons are still wanting to come and enjoy uh, what we have to offer. Uh, we also got word that childhood centers, daycares, daycare facilities uh, will be reopened as of 10th July. Also, tournaments, sporting events, and contact sports uh, will be permitted at this time. Of course, the maximum num number of individuals who can attend these sporting activities is 200, uh, regardless of the size of the facility. So whether it be uh, the a stadium, uh, a multipurpose court, the 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 restriction is that it's only a maximum of 200 persons of course observing physical distancing social distancing and what have you so we do hope you take note also the reopening of the cinema uh, that has been uh, um, approved by uh, the cabinet with proper protocol and we did hear from the authorities that uh, in terms of caribbean cinemas they did submit their uh, proposal for the protocols and it has been approved so we will be hearing in short order how this will pan out how if you want to enjoy a movie at the cinema you can do so uh, and we do encourage you to go back and listen to the update to the nation that was uh, 
received uh, that was given out by the Honorable Prime Minister, the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Sharon Belmont-George, uh, the Chair of the Operations Command Center and the PS in Tourism uh, last night. It was aired live on NTN. We, I believe we do have the, pre the recording on our Facebook page and the YouTube channel. Remind you, uh, reminding you of such, we hope you could subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page, Government of St. Lucia, so you will always know when we post new content. It's very important, especially as we're entering new phases, as we're transitioning into new phases uh, in response to COVID-19. The government of St. Lucia, the population, we're trying to find our footing in this new COVID-19 reality, and we do hope that you continue to play your part. Please be reminded, we are under a state of emergency until the last day of September 2020, and we do hope you continue to observe the protocols, the wearing of the masks, the use of hand sanitizer when there is not soap and water around. Mm -hmm. and these things continue to remain important, especially as we reopen our borders more than ever before. Uh, the CMO did indicate that they are anticipating increased case, uh, uh, more cases uh, due to the opening of the borders. Uh, but what we are hopeful and trust in is the capacity uh, of the authorities and the mechanisms that have been put in place to contain COVID-19 at every turn. As we've seen, the last four cases were contained at the quarantine facilities, uh, uh, therefore proving the argument, you know, securing, uh, solidifying the argument of institutional quarantine upon coming into St. Lucia. If there's not been any uh, certain word on your te on on, on uh, negative test or what have you, if you're coming from the high seas, if you're coming from a country uh, that is a, a hotbed for COVID-19. Well, that's all the time we have for now. We thank you so much for watching. My name is Jesse Leon, signing off for now. Uh, Carlton, do you have any uh, anything <laughs> to add before we, we wrap up quickly? Yes, um, just for me, the Congress bien sa Premier ministre parle ensemble et puis on aura Dominique Fede puis chef médical officier Dr. Belma George et puis au cas ça va pas mes bagages qui annoncé et y a soit ici en centre Camadlan c'est date qui confie nous pas ni confie encore mais nous on va étayer des soucoups toujours en parmi l'autre bagay aussi yo kay permite eh, bateau entwe espressman bateau ki ant eh, se ti peyi eh, kawaii blan ki eh, jala se peyi sa ki pati inspiransi eh, le vini pou eh, covid de pati ho an se plase be pa eh, me nou an wis ou kay aussi sav um, epo a kay ouve vini li 10 eh, juye epo a kay ouve pou wis ouve moun ki kantou an plas nan pa mi bagay ki ja fet ou kay sav uh, le vini pou propriete ki kay wis ouve se moun sa ki han tou ene, le vini manye pou manaje moun, eh, le yo vini pou apeche COVID-19 eh, eh, lani eh, se bato a ki kay sa mene moun moute desan par la men 56 eh, an se bato sa ousi, et pi le vini pou akomandasyon lokal ousi eh, eh, nou ni 78 an se eh, akomandasyon sa. Kon a bagay eh, ka eh, gradualman ka ouve, me avetisman la toujou kwen pokosyon Nous ni pour suivre le protocole national toujours. Masse là, laver la main, sanitiser la main, faire assez au chien, distance sociale. Et tout ça qui est venu, qu'on a aussi fait pour place qu'on a été état, place côté, il y a une activité, sport, il y a des tout ça permis à présent. Pas plus passé 200 monde, ça veille, ben ça attendait. Tout ça nous n'est pour euh, mettre en ligne nous et changer. Changer encore, quand moi t'en amour sur parole, bon matin, avec moi quoi, il c'est un bon chien qui te voit moi. Sauf ça qui a dit, quand il est ou en dans un bataille, et qu'on est pour mettre quoi en guerre pour gourmer. Et ça nous a gourmé, nous a gourmé quand Covid. Nous a donné un bon journée avec Chen San Lido, quand eh, nous a dit aider des gens et puis nous encore des merci de vle ici à Saint Thomas de l'An quand nous avons eu information. Merci pour vous, spécialement pour ces gens nous sur Facebook ou à sur radio et ces gens qui l'autre pays toujours en plaisir. Non moi c'est Cox n'a dit aider. Thanks for that, Carlton. And cheers to you. We hope you enjoy the remainder of your day and stay tuned to NTN for more programming. Goodbye for now.
appetizer Better yet do soap and water We must protect each other If we are to beat this corona Together let us win this war Be a soldier of force and illusion Together let us win this war Be a soldier together we can beat this corona So you don't become the next case Avoid touching your face I'm sure you've been told so Handshakes and hugging are up No, no Advice give you the please Cover your mouth and your nose If you cough or sneeze Practice social distancing And avoid large social gatherings Together let us win this war Be a soldier for seclusion Together let us win this war Seclusion be a soldier Together we can beat this corona for further information, please contact the hotline at 311 or the Bureau of Health Education at 468-5349. Coronavirus, 